Hello, everybody. Today is going to be a bit of a short one, but that's because we're only fighting one thing, and that is Tempered Val Hazak with Glasgow today. So there's a big difference from regular Val Hazak and Tempered Val Hazak. Mainly being it's tempered. If you don't know what tempered means, it means it gets more defense, more armor, more attack, and just overall pain in the balls to deal with. And, um, yeah, I, uh, that's really annoying when it does that. Best thing you can do is just kind of like, you know, <clears throat> try and uh, d d dodge that. You don't really want to eat that big, big thing over and over. I don't think I'm close enough for this, but I guess I'm going to try it. Hey, it actually kind of worked. <laughs> Sometimes the tails are the worst thing in the world to try and hit just because they'll like flop all over the damn place and you'll go, ha, gotcha, and they'll like move the tail at the last second. It's like, oh, come on, man. It's dirty when it happens, too. It's real dirty. I, yeah, that, I, I did it, but I don't... Can I actually turn this around? I might be able to... That's not going to work. No. 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 <laughs> no. I was like, if he tackles, I might be able to do that, but he didn't tackle. No, he, uh, he just went range. So the biggest thing, in regular Valhazok, I've gotten pretty decent at tackling through things so I can get to a true charge. In Tempered, it can work. Just know that it hurts a hell of a lot more when you tackle through things. Oh, excuse me, I have a runny nose this evening. Hopefully you're feeling better than I am. But, uh, yeah. He, uh... That was just, uh, one of the world's worst. I should probably... I guess I'll just try and tackle through it. No, I guess I just kind of said, fuck it, I'll just get hit. <laughs> In that... At that situation, as a greatsword user, you have two options. If you have quick sheath, you might possibly be able to, uh, get out of it. If you don't, you pretty much either have to block... Or tackle through that. Well, actually, you can't block that. I tried. You have to either tackle through it or just run. When you get to the, uh... The, uh... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The, uh... The, uh, the, the breath attack. You can tackle through it. It works pretty well, actually, to be honest with you. You just have to do it at the right time. That's the... That's the problem with it. Also... We're not doing... We're actually doing really good. Uh, this is far better than my last one, though I am still making, of course, mistakes, but... You'll notice he doesn't have very much aura of miasma of badness around him. This is because of Elder Seal, I think, on my weapon, and I think Glasgow is using an Elder Seal weapon as well. Uh, did that hit? I don't think that hit. It should have hit, but I don't think it did. So, I was a bit mistaken earlier. I didn't even know that existed. I, uh, to this day... I was mistaken earlier when I said something along the lines of I didn't know what Elder Seal did. I now know what it does. Uh, some people don't think it's worth it. I personally love Elder Seal. What it does... Uh, basically, every Elder Dragon has uh, an ability, if you will, for obviously Valhazak. It's the Miasma Aura. Uh, Kushala De Aura. It's the Wind Aura. Um, Teostra, I think, he might, I think that might influence the... Like, the sparks that come out, I'm not sure on Teostra, I never really paid attention. And I don't honestly remember what Conceive Sorrow told me, so I'm just gonna tell you. Um, but... It's... Some people think, oh, it's not worth it. Well, it depends on... That was a bad time. Uh, actually, it wasn't badly timed, I just thought it was. Uh, but it does make a difference. In the overall damage, uh, input, or rather, how much damage you take in this battle. You want less Miasma to be just... You know drifting around if you can help it because well obviously that's uh that's well better less damage coming in less chance you die pretty simple mathematics if you ask me but uh yeah this is the most da in my opinion the worst place fighting valhazak ever because this place has acid on the floor that's the only thing i can even assume as to why it does more damage than the mother loving lava but it does more damage than the damn lava not that that makes any friggin sense whatsoever uh but it does and he loves knocking you into it i was totally worth it by the way as a great sword user you're going to get used to the idea of trading sometimes and it's going to be worth it sometimes trust me that time not really so much worth it but uh yeah most of the time, it'll be worth it. 
just not always on tempered monsters. I think I went over this last time. Against tempered monsters, it's not always a good idea, but everything non-tempered pretty much always is. Well, not always, but it's a lot of times it is. Because you hit very hard. You gotta take advantage of that. You gotta remember what your strengths are. Unless you're fighting Kieran, in which case you gotta just go with what he does. And just go speed. But majority of the time you do want to try and use your own strengths. A lot of people think that Greatsword is uh, all placement, and to a degree, they're kind of right. But a lot of people kind of underestimate just how hard it is to actually aim the thing when you're doing the charge. Like, yeah, some it probably doesn't take as much... Uh, well, I mistimed that tackle. If I'd actually timed that tackle, it would have been sweet, but... Uh, it's probably not as difficult to aim as, like, I don't know... Uh, I have no idea. Not a lot of things are difficult to aim, in my, in my experience. Bows are... I don't know. I had trouble aiming the rocks. That's, like, all I remember from the bows. And, uh... You have to have timing as well, because I was trying to hit his head there. I was just a little early. You saw me. And, uh, yeah. It's not so much precision as... Not aiming so much as precision of timing, which I believe precision of timing is probably one of the hardest things to get in the game. To, uh, you know, why did I think he was doing... I don't know why. I just like, I don't want to go hit him. Nah, nah, just go let him walk. Nah, just let him walk. I guess I was too scared of dying. That's a legitimate complaint. Okay, aside from Valhazak, I'm going to give a little bit of etiquette guidelines. They're not rules. You don't have to go by them, but it's considered common etiquette to do so. If you join an investigation for, for example, Tempered Valhazak, like you're watching here, the commonly accepted etiquette is don't die. I'm not joking, by the way. You really should make damn sure you don't die because, think about it, you're taking one of their investigations, and, um, they're limited, and they're very valuable. So, when I go into randoms, Tempered Valhazak, I put on, like, three Vitality and, like, I put on, like, three Miasma and, like, a Vitality. Something, anything, make, making sure I'm not gonna waste their time. Now, that's not needed. A lot of people don't do it. That doesn't make it right, but a lot of people don't do it. This actually will work pretty well. No, I think I almost missed. But, uh, at least I didn't outright miss. I just kinda missed. I don't know. I, I mean, it's not like I get salty whenever people don't adhere to, you know, that. It's just a little annoying when you're like a hammer user and you have like a dual blade person just kind of like, I don't know, hitting the head. <laughs> There's not a lot of guidelines. It, it really just depends on who you're playing with. Some people mind, some people don't. A lot of people don't. I don't personally care where you are, as long as you don't try and, and like, don't trip me up repeatedly on purpose. Uh, every now and again, it's fine, because I do that myself, accidentally. Accidentally hit somebody with, like, a whatever, but... Oh, jeez, I nearly walked right into that. <laughs> also, you'll notice I usually have a Vitality Mantle. Like, plays into the just-don't-die thing. Now, if I'm going with, you know, my personal group, I still, a lot of times, use the Vitality Mantle, just because as a greatsword user, we're gonna get hit more often than not than the other people. By the way, I hate trying to open up uh, on Valhazak when he's sleeping. I hate it. I can't stand it. Too much shit in the way, and I can't tell where he is. Well, I missed. Uh, yeah, there's so much shit there that I could... Well, that kind of worked anyway. That's kind of comedic. <laughs> but, yeah, I always miss my Valhazak wake-ups just because there's so much crap in the way. It's like, I can't tell where his head is. It's sometimes... But yes, Tempered Valhazak. Not so much harder. He's also kind of a loop pinata. A lot of people use him to farm decorations and stream stones and, uh, you know, hero stones or I forget what they're called. Excuse me, the augments uh, stuff. You know, that stuff to upgrade your final weapon. Yeah, that that's really neat stuff that he drops. Well, he's the easiest one. A lot of people think, I always thought Teostra was kind of the easiest one, but nobody likes fighting Teostra for some reason. Uh, I, I think because a lot of people... I don't know why, but I, a lot of people like Valhazak. I, I, I'll admit he's easy to kill. He's not like he's difficult. He's, I just don't think he's the easiest. Nobody ever farms Kaladeora, though. 
I need to get, I need to do that so I can get my research points so I can get that trophy. I think he's only at like a research level three right now. Kale uh, Kushar is. Urgh. I gotta work on that. That lava seal. I think he's only at like a level two. And then I think I'm done with that. I think I got my trophy after that. So woohoo! Also, eleven minutes for two people. Not the fastest, but pretty darn fast. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah, hammer. A damned hammer. I don't want the damned hammer. But I got the damned hammer one. Hello. <laughs> Glasgow's just sitting there crying like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> he he uses the hammer all the time. I'm like, I don't like, oh, I actually do like the hammer now. But back then, I did not like using the hammer. Now I like using it. So now it's like, ah, sweet. I got I got something I might actually use now. Anyway, that's about it for today, everyone. I will see you next time. Until then, everybody. Until then. I think we're fighting Devil Ho then, by the way.